There's a lot of talk about vaccines in the media, but what are vaccines and how do they work? Vaccines are substances that we can use to prevent getting certain diseases in the future. It's kind of like insurance for your body. If you've had a vaccine against a certain illness, say chickenpox, for example, and you are exposed to the virus that causes chickenpox, the vaccine helps your body kill off the chickenpox virus before it can make you sick. Because vaccines make certain diseases preventable, we have seen significant decreases and even elimination of vaccine preventable diseases, which has saved millions of lives worldwide. But how do vaccines work? How can something that's injected at one or a few times protect you from a disease for life? First, let's talk about how your body normally fights infections. When a pathogen or disease causing agent like a bacterium or virus attacks your body, it's the job of your immune system to fight it off and keep you healthy. The adaptive immune system is a part of your immune system that has a kind of memory. It can remember what pathogens have infected the body before, and it uses this memory to kill the pathogens it remembers more efficiently. For each pathogen that attacks your body, your adaptive immune system creates a protein called an antibody that specifically recognizes a part of the pathogen called an antigen. This antibody binds to the antigen and signals other parts of your immune system to attack the pathogen so that it's unable to function and make you sick. Vaccines are a way to teach your immune system about certain pathogens without actually getting you sick. Vaccines contain dead or weakened pathogens that can be safely injected into your body. Although they can't get you sick, these dead pathogens still have the same antigens as their live counterparts, so your body can make antibodies that recognize their antigens. That means that if you are exposed to a person with that illness later in life, your body already knows how to fight that pathogen off and can kill it before it makes you sick. Some people are worried about other additives and vaccines, so let's talk about that for a minute. The most common fear is the additive thimerosal, which is added to keep vaccines from becoming contaminated by other bacteria. People are concerned that thimerosal contains mercury, which can be harmful to the body in high quantities. Methyl mercury, the kind of mercury that we are exposed to when eating certain fishes, can be toxic to people in high quantities. But thimerosal contains ethyl mercury, a different compound that's cleared from the body much more rapidly, making it much less toxic, and is harmless to humans in the amount given in the vaccine. In any event, no vaccines given to children contain thimerosal, and there are formulas for all adult vaccines that do not contain thimerosal either. It's important to vaccinate yourself and those you care about, not just for your own health, but also for the health of those around you. Certain groups of people, such as those who have certain immune illnesses, the elderly, and young children, are unable to be vaccinated because their immune systems are so weak that they can become severely ill from the weakened pathogens present in some vaccines. These people, who are immunocompromised, rely on other people being vaccinated to stop the spread of deadly diseases. This is called herd immunity. Understanding how vaccines work is important because you can use this knowledge to protect yourself and those you care about. Thank you for listening. What topic do you want explained next?